Hello everyone. You are all welcome to lecture number 1210. And today's topic of the lecture is chemistry of intestinal gas and abdominal bloating. This gastric problem that commonly uh, doctors they call it gastrointestinal uh, disease or problem and that is very very common in the world in every country 20 to 25 percent of the population they suffer from such type of gut disorder and they feel lot of uh, gastric problem and bloating that is stomach bloating or scientifically we call it abdominal bloating but they fail to understand the chemistry behind it the scientific reason of such condition and with age it is common in senior citizen above the age of 60 where your all the system is uh, weak but uh, we have to check the reason what are the causes symptoms we can understand that uh, we will go to a doctor and get the advice but at the same time this gut problem or we call it digestive problem is very much related to your lifestyle and sedentary life not having active life and at the same time you are not giving much emphasis on selection of your food item whether it is animal product or plant product so your gastric problem that is commonly called it intestinal gas or abdominal bloating the chemistry behind is that uh, that condition we call it SIBO condition S I B O it means uh, small intestine bacterial over growth. So once you are going to any doctor, he will first diagnose SIBO condition. SIBO means small intestine overgrowth of bacteria means once you are taking food, whatever food is taken uh, in our gut, that is digestive system, all the uh, breaking down or hydrolysis of food takes place either in presence of enzyme or microbes that is called bacteria. So in our small and large intestine, there are two types of bacteria. One is good bacteria, other one is bad bacteria. So if you are taking such type of food, which are not suitable to your intestine, you, because every human being is different uh, in terms of food. Someone is sensitive to some type of food and someone is insensitive. So it's not that every food is okay for everybody. No, we have to be selective after seeing the response of our uh, digestive system that is gut. And gut health is very important. According to Germans, everything starts from the stomach. If your gut health is okay, your 90% problem is over. And gut health, intestine, small intestine, large intestine, stomach, all together is digestive system and is all controlled by hormone, by enzyme and by microbes, that is good and bad bacteria. So that is SIBO effect means once there is imbalance of the good and bad bacteria and the reason of imbalance of good and bad bacteria is because of overproduction, overgrowth of bad bacteria 
बिकॉज ऑफ द लेफ्ट ओवर ऑफ द सम ऑफ द फूड मटीरियल विच यू हैव टेकन इज नॉट प्रॉपरली डाइजेस्टेड मीन्स इज नॉट ब्रोकन डाउन कंप्लीटली टू बी एब्जॉर्ब बाई योर स्मॉल एंड लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन सो एंड इफ इट इज लेफ्ट ओवर इन योर लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन इट विल स्टार्ट प्रोड्यूसिंग बैड बैक्टीरिया एंड बाई प्रोडक्शन ऑफ बैड बैक्टीरिया इट विल बी इन गुड क्वान्टिटी एंड योर वैल्यूम ऑफ द गैस इन आवर गट इज टू हंड्रेड मिली लीटर इज प्रोड्यूस एंड वॉन्स डेट मच वैल्यूम ऑफ द गैस और ब्लॉटिंग इज प्रोड्यूस यू विल बी अनकम्फर्टेबल एंड लॉट ऑफ पासिंग ऑफ द गैस एंड ब्लॉटिंग सिम्टम्स विल बी देयर सो इट शोज दैट सम ऑफ योर फूड विच यू हैव टेकन either in the form of carbohydrate or in the form of protein they are not properly broken down assimilated and some are left over otherwise once the whole food is completely uh, broken down protein or carbohydrate they are absorbed by our uh, gut uh, small large intestine and once this uh, imbalance is there gas production is there and that gas the chemistry of gas is it contains mainly methane oxygen nitrogen ammonia and these gases are without order they are orderless they don't have a peculiar or bad smell but later on when it goes to from large intestine to small intestine and to our stomach and moving then there is mixing up that is sulfur based compound sulfur compound means hydrogen sulfide and thio uh, sulfur and uh, that is uh, methane sulfur so such type of sulfur compounds they are responsible of uh, making the gas with very bad smell peculiar smell you can say otherwise if that sulfur i mean derivatives are not produced that is mainly that is hydrogen sulfide or thio sulfide then there would have not been any uh, problem of very bad peculiar order so that is the bacterial aspect and the other one that is what we call it uh, the food selection that is for my f o d m a p is a group of food that is carbohydrate or protein vegetable material once they are there you have to select that is called food map means those plant products carbohydrate complex or simple whether they are going to uh, irritate your intestine your gut or not so the list is given for food my foods you have to select and the best selection of the food in order to reduce your gastric problem or that is abdominal bloating and also we may call it constipation sensation of vomiting a uh, feeling heavy all are related to your gas the production of extra gas excessive gas more than 200 uh, ml in your large and small intestine that is the main uh, cause and in old age my advice as a chemist if those senior people above the age of 60 or 50 if they are getting regular and frequent stool with some traces of a red blood cell or reddish they must immediately go for uh, that is uh, to i mean a doctor and they should go for endoscopy endoscopy means they will take the photograph of inside your intestine and get all the picture inside that what is happening and it will give very clear picture 
uh, inside, in a, I mean, in artery of your uh, stomach. And then doctors can diagnose. Please don't uh, take it lightly for senior citizen. If it is very frequent, immediately you go to doctor and doctor will advise and first step endoscopy to get the photograph of inside uh, intestine. And now I am going to select the food because this bloating, abdominal bloating and intestinal gas is also one of the factor of the type of food you are taking. You have to be very selective. The first thing is that what type of food we should take. The best first fruit is watermelon. And apart from watermelon, any fruit which is containing more than 90% water, like watermelon, cucumber means khira, kakri, tarbuja, kharbuja, in Indian language I am telling, in Nigerian language you can say gulli, melon, and watermelon is the best to control and suppress your formation of intestinal gas. The second most important fruit is uh, that is your pineapple, uh, ananas in Indian language we call it. Because this pineapple is very rich source of enzyme that is called vitamin enzyme. And that enzyme plays very important role to break down, especially the protein molecules means once we are taking bean or dal, lentils, especially arahar ka dal, tur dal, is very much uh, dangerous for gastric people, those who are having that tendency, stop it. Otherwise, you will be in serious problem and go for pineapple. Pineapple is very good uh, for your checking or stopping the symptom of abdominal blotting and intestinal gas. The third is all type of berries, whether it is blueberry, strawberry, gooseberry, all berries, they are very, very good for your uh, gut health and to protect you from your intestinal gas and bloating and last but not least hydration hydration means you have to take whether you are feeling thirsty or not if suppose you are in cold countries where temperature is minus sometimes you may not feel but inside your body they sell your body cells they need water and every day at least two to 2.5 or 3 liter water you should consume every after every one to hour time you should take 250 ml water 200 ml water so that your stomach in common term or your uh, intestine small and large they are all always hydrated and your I mean the electrolyte water is electrolyte so in that case it will uh, allow lot of reaction to take place uh, smoothly. That's why hydration is very, very important. And the food, what you should avoid. First thing is lentils. Lentils will all the dal or bean. Beans all or any type of food which is plant origin and that is having more protein in that. That's why I call it bean we should avoid it because they are the main cause of that is uh, intestinal gas and blotting and also uh, we should avoid such type of food which are having more and more red meat or amino acid uh, group of compounds they can trigger the uh, gastric problem and those who are tolerant to lactose they should go for yogurt yogurt is good because it is probiotic and lot of microorganisms is added so probiotic and prebiotic foods are very important for those people who are having the problem of gas or uh, bloatings 
So these are all very, very important steps we have to take. And once we are taking care of all these steps, definitely this condition will be uh, reduced. Otherwise, it is a very, very disturbing. And always you will be feeling tired and your energy uh, will be less and you will not feel good. So, so these are very, very uh, bad condition, the gastric condition. So in this image, it's very clear picture is given the SIBO condition of your small intestine and where a lot of bad microbes or bacteria are pushed to your small intestine and photo is given. It is a endoscopic uh, image of inside uh, small intestine and you can say where the SIBO effect is there means overgrowth of bad bacteria they are in large number and they are the main cause of intestinal uh, gas and here in two rows uh, two group of foods are given they are plant based and first one is that is uh, food map the one which is uh, good for you those who are having this problem and the second layer the lower one you have to be selective because they can cause irritation and intestinal gas this is pyramid of low food map diet and strictly you should follow it you see here that uh, on the base broad base is only uh, we can see that lot of fruit, vegetable and whole grain is there and then followed by some quantity of dairy product and then little animal product and on top almost negligible quantity that is your bakery and your sweet uh, products uh, you can say where you are adding sugar. So sugary material it should be very very minimum as much as possible and crystalline sugar is acidic and it is causing lot of uh, gas so it's better to stop so this is very good pyramid picture of your uh, food map diet so here i have given some tips the same lecture i have just summarized it and i have added some of the tips like chewing I means at least 20 to 30 times well chewed food means you are mixing very well saliva and saliva mixing means your digestion starts from your mouth itself and I have already delivered one lecture on the chemistry of saliva your saliva which is there inside mouth plays very important role for gas problem and number one a variety of gastrointestinal complaints by many people such as belching, bloating, abdominal pain, intestinal gas, etc. are common and it is due to excess gas produced in our gut system that is digestive system. Number two, the volume of gas in the intestinal tract is roughly 200 uh, ml and the nitrogen, oxygen, methane, carbon dioxide, uh, ammonia and sulfur compounds account for about 99% that is called intestinal gas and stomach gas contains mainly nitrogen and oxygen and it is not having any uh, peculiar order and thus the gases are not having any peculiar order. The minor constituent of sulfur uh, containing compounds like uh, methane thiol, then hydrogen sulfide and dimethyl sulfide. These sulfur compounds uh, and mixed with volatile amines and ammonia are the responsible of wet or peculiar smell of intestine gas. It is because of air swallowing. But once we are eating the food, air goes along with when we swallow our food and that process in medical term, they 
काल एट एरोफेगिया एरोफेगिया में सम एयर गोस सम गैसेस आर गोइंग वाइल यू आर आई मीन सोलविंग योर फूड आफ्टर चूविंग एंड दैट आल्सो इज कंट्रीब्यूटरी फैक्टर एंड दैट कंडीशन इज कॉल एरोफेगिया इज द मेन सोर्स ऑफ दैट इज स्टमक गैस सीबो कंडीशन I have already given all the explanation about this. I am I have just written here. Uh, occurs when bacteria from the large intestine migrates to the small intestine, uh, and it can cause abdominal uh, bloating. Then for map is very important map. I have given the image and explanation of food map, the food pyramid. Uh, they are the group of plant carbohydrates. foods and that can cause stomach irritation or irritable bowel syndrome and even sometimes they may cause this sensation of vomiting irritation so that uh, food map is very important to identify uh, that irritation syndrome go for low food map diet mostly fermented foods fruits which are containing 95 to 98% water like your watermelon Uh, pineapple I have already discussed its enzyme and cucumber that is in Nigeria in North Nigeria we call gulli and melons lot of uh, such type of fruits are there that contains more than ninety percent of water it will help a lot and uh, you have to understand that you are not constipated once you have the tendency of constipation. means your stools are not moving smoothly that can also cause uh, the intestinal gas the reason i have already explained uh, number 4 foods to stop uh, gas bloating so what are the foods i have listed some few you have to stop and some food you should take so that is uh, foods to stop gas bloating if you take these foods your gas intestinal gas and abdominal uh, bloating will be stopped first is watermelon second is melon then other uh, cucumber second is pineapple and that pineapple is the rich source of a particular enzyme that is called bromelain and bromelain is very good enzyme For your digestive bacteria, and to take care of digestion, can break down the protein molecules. This is very important. Bromelain uh, that can break down all the protein molecules, and mainly protein molecules. Once they are not broken down completely, they are responsible of gas formation and uh, bloating. So that will help. And third is blueberries, strawberries. gooseberries gooseberries means amla in indian language that is also one of the berry then you got dahi or nono kindirmo you can take provided you are not lactose uh, intolerant if you are lactose tolerant you can go for dahi that is yogurt and that source that is main source of probiotic and chew 25 to 30 time so that uh, saliva is mixed uh, very well in your food and i will uh, post my one lecture that all of you should go uh, to know the what is the chemistry of saliva because saliva mixing inside mouth digestion starts from there if you are chewing your food properly where thoroughly your saliva is mixed your more than 50% problem of intestinal gas is taken care so saliva chemistry is also very important to know and i will post on uh, i mean youtube it is already there so this is the uh, all i mean about the intestinal gas and that is abdominal bloating
So with this, I will stop. And since it is Ramadan time, please, I wish you all to enjoy the healthy Ramadan. And I have already delivered one lecture, how to maintain the health. Be hydrated. That be hydrated means take more, eat more water. Those fruits which contain 95% water. Sleep well and keep away from any type of greed, stress and strain. That is the best remedy. So with this, once again, thank you very much for watching the lecture.